Glorious night for football, perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And an important date for them today, because progression to the round of 16 here at the Euros is on offer. It's Croatia against Italy. Well, Derek, they can only focus on this game and get the three points here, and then hope the other result goes their way. Of course it's hard, but they have to concentrate on... Chance here! Well, what a stop it was! Well, I have to say, that's a magnificent save. That's a top-class piece of goalkeeping. Lost possession. And players waiting in the centre. Oh, great defending. And the starting 11 for Croatia. Luka Modric plays alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And up front, it's the Croatian international, Andrej Kramaric. It's Modric taking the infield route. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. And the Italy starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Nicolo Barella plays alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Vital interception. The danger was very real. Well, a glance at the table confirms that the home side are not really in the position they would ideally want to be in. It's pretty critical, Stuart, if they have designs on progressing. Well, it's not a great place to be in, is it? All they can do is win this one and hope things go their way in the other game. Options in the centre. Teammate and support. And not an effort that will live long in the memory. Well, the defenders will be relieved because that was a good chance. From that sort of distance, he should really be hitting the target. It was a really poor attempt in the end. Brozovic. Ivan Perisic, the ball with Luka Modric, trying to open them up, and with that they've thwarted the opportunity. Federico Di Marco. Andrei Kramaric. Well, that's good defending. Well organised at the back. Jorginho. And a timely intervention. Kramaric. He's in here. And the keeper's technical skills there for all to see. Well, from that close in, that's a really good save. Such good reflexes. And in by Luka Modric. Well, you can't really head them any better than that. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. Not a chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag. And over it comes. How to do it inside your own penalty area. Well, as an official, you have to be cautious when it comes to an injury situation like this one. Now following that stoppage, the referee will restart the game with a drop ball. And very deftly cut out. Nicolo Zaniolo. Zaniolo. Well, we can give them high marks for their passing, but can they make this pressure count? They keep plugging away. And the deflection there before it went over the byline. Going to be a corner. Favouring the short one. 
They're using the space really well, you've got to say. Bastoni. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. Could be a chance to break here. And the flag does go up offside. Barella on the ball, Bastoni. Federico Di Marco. Davide Fratesi. But do they mean business on this occasion? Di Marco. Not showing good patience. Barella, Jorginho, might be able to get in behind the defence, looking for a teammate, the save was a good one. And with that, the attack fizzles out. A good effect of pressure high up the pitch. Jorginho. Well, a very effective play, and they might be onto something. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. Giovanni Di Lorenzo Federico Di Marco good use of advantage there Di Marco take efforts like that all day long well this has to get better because as those stats confirm the attacking play from both sides just hasn't been good enough it's all been a little bit too cautious so far still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead but not forcing it and this is Brozovic now the cutback and the referee doesn't hesitate. That is a spot kick. Well, no card handed out. He gets away with a rebuke. But a lot of referees would have booked him there. But I'm with him on this one. No yellow card for me. This to open the scoring here. A goal! Accurate from the spot. Well, here we can see it again. Keeper's gone the wrong way, and it makes a fairly easy finish in the end. That's how to take a spot kick. One nil then. Succeeds in clearing it. Well, no let up, plenty of pressure. Alessandro Bastoni. Di Marco. Seemed to switch off for a moment, and now a throw in. Really clever pressing. Trying to open up the defence. Still a chance, but no, it's not going to be an opportunity because the flag is up. Oh, 
the stoppage time situation. One minute here. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Well, not giving the opposition a look in. That's strong play. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. And a terrific performance so far from Andre Kramaric. So much to like. Yeah, what a performance he's putting in here. Great movement, lots of energy, and a very good finish for his goal. He's been excellent. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Varela. Spot on with that tackle. Fratesi really favours this position well, just the tackle that was needed trying his luck and the keeper diving to thwart him so the corner played into the box not all that convincing defensively it did look on for them but not to be Good piece of closing down. Gvardiol. On the ball, Mayer. Bonna Sosa. There to take it away. Giorgio Scalvini on the ball Bastoni Barella the referee correctly decided to play advantage well that's wonderful attacking play now not the best challenge and Italy will get the throw in Options in the middle. Barella. On to Jorginho. Vigorous defending. Fratesi. And the flag is up. Offside. Well, that's just a lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position. Gvardiol. Modric. Here's Kovacic. Bonna Sosa. Kovacic. Chance to finish. Oh, it's a terrific challenge. Barella. So a half an hour remaining. Varela. Nicely timed tackle. And really closing him down here. Good use of advantage there. Jorginho. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Bad challenge. And now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And he whips it in. And the problem not completely solved. But it just petered out. An awful lot of green space to run into. Deciding to go inside. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. Davide Fratesi. Well, they're moving it around with real purpose here. He's showing a real will to win the ball.
Di Marco. Ossolini with it. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Is it going to be? Just couldn't get it through. Now the counter-attack looks on. Can they use it to their advantage? Well, that is how to break up a counter-attack. Barella. Di Lorenzo. Chance to cross. And keeping it out. Smuggled away. Luka Ivanushet. Really good challenge. Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. Bon Sosa. Ivanushet. And Sosa here. And Italy with the ball again. Gianluca Scamacca. Moving it forward. And options in the centre. Well, the cross was acceptable, but no one there to thump at home. And intercepted it. Josip Juranovic. Went in strongly to win the ball. Barella. The ball with Luka Modric. Mateo Kovacic. Now look at this, they might be able to cash in here. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. And you can sense the threat is there. Kovacic angles it back. And really tried to blast that one past the keeper, but his radar was a bit off. It is a decent looking attack here. Danger averted for now. Barella. Alessandro Bastoni. Well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five minutes left, and just one goal between the sides. Scalvini. Barella has it. On the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly. Brozovic. Here's Kovacic. And to Budimir. Lovro Maia. Budimir with it. Oh, he's given us away. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Orsolini. And he keeps going. They keep plugging away. Oh, cleared away. Superb defending. Massive credit. And that will be that. The end of the game. And a lot of happy faces wherever you look in the Croatia camp. It couldn't have gone much better from a results point of view. Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win.
Well, we have to say an eye-catching performance from Andrei Kramaric. Sum it up for us. Well, he was excellent today, and he gave them that all-important lead. They just struggled to cope with him. His movement was so clever.